Welcome to section 19 of Parasites. This is our parasite overview figure. In this video, we'll be discussing Onchocerca volvulus, which you can see right here. This scene will take place at a concert. As you can see, the crowd is having a pretty good time. They must be loving the music because you can see them all yelling, Encore! 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 The word Encore sounds like Onchocerca volvulus which should help you remember that this image is all about Onchocerca volvulus. This is a concert for both adults and kids. You can see that they even have rides set up for the kids to make it extra fun. The merry-go-round ride in the background is here to help you remember that Onchocerca volvulus is a roundworm, or nematode. In an attempt to captivate the attention of the kids, you can see that the lead singer is dressed up in a cool costume. She's in a black suit with wings that kind of resemble a black fly. And this is here to help you remember that Onchocerca volvulus is transmitted through the female black fly. This is an image of a black fly belonging to the genus responsible for transmitting Onchocerca volvulus. More specifically, transmission occurs through the bite of a black fly. The fly is prevalent in sub-Saharan Africa, which is where the disease is most prevalent. Once Onchocerca enters a human host, larvae are deposited in the skin and become surrounded by fibrotic tissue resulting in skin changes and the formation of subcutaneous nodules. These are sometimes described as black skin nodules. So to help you remember this, we've added a bouncer guy to the scene who is dressed in a completely black costume, similar to the singer. If we zoom up on him, we can see that he's had a few rough fights with rowdy crowds in the past, resulting in scars and bumps on his arms. Look at those little bumps poking out of his tight costume. The bumps resemble subcutaneous nodules and are here to help you remember that Onchocerca volvulus causes subcutaneous nodules. The skin can also lose elasticity, resulting in skin atrophy. To help you remember this, we've shown the guitarist jamming out so hard that one of his elastic guitar strings has snapped. If we zoom up on him, you can see that loose string a bit better. So, Onchocerca volvulus can result in loss of elastic fibers, resulting in skin atrophy. When larvae initially penetrate the skin, they can elicit an allergic reaction. To help you remember this, we've shown one of the crowd members participating in some illicit activities. You can see that some of his drugs are blowing into the face of this innocent girl, causing her to have an allergic reaction and sneeze. So immature Onchocerca volvulus larvae, which are also known as microfilariae, may cause an allergic reaction. The microfilariae can move through the skin and lymphatic system, which may ultimately enter ocular tissues and cause blindness. This type of blindness is known as river blindness. So to help you remember this, we've shown one of the crowd members that's standing right next to a river wearing sunglasses. So Onchocerca volvulus may cause river blindness. All right, now let's zoom back up on the guitarist to talk about treatment. If you look at the head of the guitar, you can see that the tuning pegs are made of ivory and resemble little elephant ivory tusks. We've shown the guitar this way to help you remember that Onchocerca volvulus is treated with ivermectin. All right, now that we've covered the image, let's review with a question. A resident physician is in Kenya on a humanitarian trip when a 37-year-old male is brought to the clinic due to blurry vision which began several months ago. The patient also states that he has had small hard bumps on his skin which he noticed several years ago. Physical examination reveals subcutaneous nodules prevalent over the pelvic girdle. Slit lamp examination reveals microfilariae in the anterior chamber of the eye. After thorough evaluation, the resident informs the team that this patient's condition was likely transmitted through the female black fly. This patient's condition is best treated with which of the following? A. Praziquantel, B. Mebendazole, C. Ivermectin, or D. Diethylcarbamazine. Okay, hopefully from the question stem you notice that this patient has blurry vision, subcutaneous nodules, and a slit lamp exam has revealed microfilariae in the eye. Collectively, these findings should make you think of Onchocerca volvulus, or Loa Loa. These are both parasitic roundworms that can cause skin changes and vision changes. However, Loa Loa is transmitted by the deer fly, horse fly, and mango fly, whereas Onchocerca volvulus is transmitted by the female black fly. So with this in mind, the patient's condition is caused by Onchocerca volvulus, which means the correct answer is C, ivermectin. From the image, recall that the bouncer guy with black bumps on his arm right here is in the image to help you remember that Onchocerca volvulus causes subcutaneous nodules. The woman with sunglasses right next to the river right here should help you remember river blindness. The singer dressed up in a black fly costume right here should help you remember that transmission occurs through the female black fly. And finally, the guitarist with ivory tuning pegs right here should help you remember that this condition is treated with ivermectin. If you return to the question, you can see that A and B are wrong because these are not first-line treatments for either Onchocerca volvulus or Loa Loa. D is wrong because this is used to treat Loa Loa, but not Onchocerca volvulus. So again, the correct answer is C, ivermectin. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know regarding Onchocerca volvulus.